All right, we are in Mililani for another edition of Sam Choi's in the Kitchen. I am John Venerian. You are, of course, Sam Choi. Thank you very much, John. So we're visiting the Scotts residence. Yeah, aloha, I'm Shannon. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Mandy. Shannon Scott, uh, a lot of people know him from the radio and from TV, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they have in their fridge. Ready? You're first. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to get my shoes off. Shannon and Mandy. Mandy! A typical day for us is we're both very busy. Cooking is it's kind of rare for us at all. It might be a test, so let's just get right to it. Okay, I'm going to go. See you get ready? Come on, Sam. Oh, is anybody home? <laughs> I mean, hey, you guys cook in this also. <laughs> hey, look at this. Wow, mean. Uncle Sam, this could be... A true test. Well, we got we got stuff to make, John. Look. Oh, yep. Okay. That's nice. Look at this. And oh wow. <laughs> I don't know if that's like like still good. Bottom line, don't worry. I'm 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 borderline. You know you know this you know what his motto is, huh? Heat it up. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, let me check. Just first. check to make sure there's any eggs in there. Oh, there's oh, a get few. some chicks in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, John, we get plenty of stuff in here. Oh, tofu or oh, lemon? No, oh, maybe not the lemon. <laughs> For that, onion, garlic. Am I am I uh, am I digging too deep, guys? No, go for it. Oh, John, look. Onion. Woo. Let's see. <laughs> I can't shut the door, man. Wait, oh, we're we'll definitely in the house. Hey, you guys, we're gonna have fun in here. Okay, we're ready to go. I tell you what, you guys have a lot of stuff in here. Well, you didn't look in the boxes yet. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know just, we, else in there. I don't remember, I don't remember I don't actually remember. looking in there. Yeah, there's a few things in there. Oh, there's chicken. That's perfect. Is more chicken in here? No, I don't know. One piece of bread, maybe? Oh, oh a cheese oh, bread? Oh, yeah, okay. that's gold. Right. Oh, that is gold. <laughs> what else? Wait, what is that way? Okay, so... Oh, pasta. Ah. Uh, oh. You didn't know that was in there. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, Sam. Yeah. A lot of stuff, according to you. No, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do first? Well, I tell you what. Seriously, you folks have a lot of nice things in the refrigerator. Nothing to be ashamed of. You know? <laughs> but you guys had me a little worried earlier. But you know what? You folks have a lot of things. Our first dish we're gonna do is we're gonna do a savory bread pudding. Savory, so that means no sugar, right? So it's kind of like a entree or an appetizer bread pudding. Wait, no sugar? Did you say yeah, no sugar? No sugar. I'm gonna cut up this into cubes. I'm gonna have uh, Mandy pull the chicken meat and put them in there, and then of course. Oh, that's a cute bowl, by the way. I love the hula dancers. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, when you dance Miramon Arc, this is what they give you right here. See? <laughs> Look at this. I, hey, I can't tell sometimes. Kimo, these jokes. Yeah. Thank you for the bowl. I'm serious. <laughs> okay, so you can cut. I just need a little bit of that. Okay, that much. I'm gonna have you dice it for me. Are you gonna let him use your knife? You can do it. Oh yeah, Shannon, you get to use the knife. Oh, Shannon, okay, Shannon? that's the other knife. But that's okay. That's so now, knife. so I'm gonna cube this, John. Okay. So cube we're doing it. a savory. So what's savory? Okay, you can go now. <laughs> we got, we got. Just get your, just get your hands dirty. We saw you washing. <laughs> let me see. Well, okay, me, so uh, can you like show you. demo what that yeah, means? So, so just like this, to look. Just pull the there's bones in there, right? So uh -huh. you know, usually at the houses that we visit, we usually ask who's the cook in the house. <laughs> yeah, who's the cook in the house? Um, Milanati has great restaurants around here, so. I will leave, oh, okay. leave two for you. Okay. <laughs> I want you to crack me. Uh, crack you. Right here. Four and I don't have to worry about breaking the yolk. Oh, no. Put them in there. This is our bread. This is our bread, right? John, you watching? I'm watching. Are, are Shannon and Mandy watching? <laughs> I'm Very watching. Very good. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm watching them <laughs> Okay, so, so you're cutting them into cubes, why? Because you're gonna make a bread pudding, so you wanna put this in the bread pudding, right? Right. So you're gonna put these little cubes of bread in the bread okay. pudding. Okay. And we're making, you said, a savory bread pudding. A savory bread pudding. Which means? No sugar. No sugar. Yeah. Okay. Put our bread in that. Have you ever made a bread pudding? Um, I eat it all the time. But well, when I think of bread pudding, I never thought of that. Savory? 
Well, I've never thought of actually the pasta in there, too. Oh, so. yeah. Like a casserole, you know? Eggs are scrambled. Go in there, grab some milk. I want you to put maybe about a cup of milk in there. Yes, yeah, you guys got milk. milk. <laughs> it was in the back behind the district. <laughs> John, check the date. <laughs> We're, we, we are good to go. Is it solid? No, no we're good. It's good. No, it's not. It's, 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 it's solid as in it's good to go. It's not okay, solid okay, as a rock. Okay, so. About a cup, you said? Yeah. Okay. And. Okay. Yeah. okay, so we got the chicken that you guys kind of ordered. That goes in that right there. Chicken and the bread pudding. Oh, yeah. Okay, just a little bit, because I might use this in another dish. So if you take notice, everything's kind of cut almost on the same size, you know, we're not kind of like having anything bigger or anything like, so, so what you want to do is want to be an, an organized bread pudding. Very nice mushrooms. I like this cutting board. <laughs> Okay, our mushrooms right there. Okay, put that onion in here. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so just a little salt, but I'm gonna put the salt in the egg. Okay, about, what would you say? Uh, maybe a tea half a teaspoon. Half that's a teaspoon it. in the eggs. Well, you got spam that's salty. You right. got the chicken that's already been cooked, so. That's another thing too, in cooking leftovers, you gotta kinda like more or less know the flavor profile and what you, or the taste of what you're using. So of course you got the chicken that's already been seasoned and spiced because that's a spicy wing. So we know that. So you did just a pinch of yeah, salt. Yeah, so we don't add more pepper. salt to the show because if not, you know. We'll be swelling up while we eat. John, whip that up good. Okay. Okay, so we got the eggs with the milk and little salt and pepper. Throw some onions some in here. Salt and pepper, some yeah. right in there. Onions right Okay, in so there. we just got it right here in this nice bowl here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make the, this is like what you call the custard for the pu the pudding. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right there, Johnny. Put it like right over. Look at this. Oh wow, man, how this combination is yeah. I would have never guessed. Yeah, right? So we're gonna bake this for about 30 minutes at what? 350. 350, okay. 350 seems to be the, the norm. Yeah, yeah cause that's kind of like the, the, you know, the, the neutral uh, temperature. But for how long, you said? 30 uh, minutes. 30 minutes. This is a real cooking show. We're not gonna go in the oven with this and pull something that's already done. We're gonna go in the oven with this and we're gonna wait. wait. <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna do, John, Ohana, we're gonna make a quesadilla, you know? So we're gonna take the Sinaloa. Uh, you can't open it, I see you standing. So open the bag up. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna build this right on here, okay? Put that on the side so we can see that. Okay, just give people an idea. So, you take the Portuguese gravy. Portuguese gravy? Yeah. Ketchup. Actually, you know, not too much. Okay. Kids can make smiley faces. Yeah, they can do all kinds of things with it, but you, you just gotta do that. Not too much, because we're gonna put a, a whole slew of things in there. Okay, okay, so I need a back of a spoon. A back of a spoon, and... Uh, Vice Grip, can you open this for me, please? Well, you don't do the dishes, so you bring the big stuff, huh? Well, you said the back of a spoon. I thought that would be cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I, want, I want you to slice, thank you. I want you to slice uh, three, four, three mushrooms real, real thin, if you can. So we just add a little bit of this on here. And then, of course, man, oh, how about this, guys? I guess I'll wipe you guys' top of your bottom here. <laughs> okay, now. Take your back of your spoon and just do it like this, like how you're doing a pizza, right? So you got a base of like nice combination of things. So what you want to do now, you want to just cream it a little bit, not too much. That's Oyster sauce, think. ketchup, and Caesar dressing. Just a little bit. You're just coating the top of the cinnamon, yeah. right? Yeah. Look at this. Mixed Plate Minute brings us to the Blaisdell Open Market where the smell of fresh bread permeates the air. Bread is something that Sam finds in almost every kitchen. It's a wonderful ingredient to work with. 
but it has a short shelf life. These breads have no preservatives, so their shelf life is only four days. When you want to keep the bread longer, you better put the cold place or refrigerator or freezer. Wrap the bread in aluminum foil, making sure all the air pockets are gone, then place it in a plastic bag. That'll last you about three or four months in the freezer, and be sure to put the date in or on the bag. Now back to Sam in the kitchen. Add a little bit of this, okay? Everybody kind of like, they're going to look at this, they're going to go like, are you dreaming this up or what? No, <laughs> I've made this before. We're going to add some. We're going to add some magic to that, okay? I cut it thin. Okay, so, you know? Yep. <laughs> you <laughs> Amazed over here, amazed. I think they're just entranced with yeah. what you're making, as we I always have. am. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because who puts oyster sauce and Caesar dressing together? Yeah. Only Uncle Sam. Yeah, thank you, Johnny. I mean, just, the, just the glue. The cheese is like the glue. It keeps everything in line. Okay, just a yeah. little. Give me another piece out of Sinaloa. So you want to just put that right on top of that like this. Okay. So then we're gonna we're gonna go over to our stove and the bigger pan. We'll put some oil or pan, but I like to put a little oil and we're gonna put this in there. Okay, so what you wanna do is put this here like this, and you just do this. Okay. So now the side that we have all the goodies is on the bottom, on the top I mean, and then the one that was just the topping is on the bottom. So you grab this and you want to slide this right in, into, I like that, right here. Go down low and right into the pan like that. Okay, so no, nobody got burned and we turn our heat down a little bit. You just want to make sure that, you know, when you do the maca flip, so you want to check underneath, make sure it's just, just right. Oh man, it's just right. This is nice, beautiful. So just flip right here. I want you to flip it with this one. Just... There you go. How was that? How was that? So oh, this thing is really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna take this off, and then we're good to go. Just like that. What do you think, Jen? Nice. Okay, yeah. Oh man. I like how you do that. You're not making it all the way out on yeah. the sides. It's just... No. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it right here just a little bit because I'm gonna do something nice for the plate. Give me a little cucumber. Kind of cut that like that. Okay, so you you kind of just do just okay, just like that, right? Yeah, so you can do that. Put that right there like that. What? There you go. Magic. So we take our nice quesadillas. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at this. So put our quesadillas right here. You know, you know what's amazing, John? Everybody in the house said there, there was nothing in there. I mean, this, look at this. Okay, so then we got a nice presentation. Okay, John, now we're going to squirt a little bit of the gravy real quick here. Gravy, gravy. What so, else do you need? That? Kind of like the same profile so, that, well, that you put inside, okay? Yeah, so just a little. Uh, a little bit of oyster. A little bit of oyster. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you mix that right here real quick. That's going to be like the dip, see? So the dip will go right into here. Got a little left over, you can just kind of just push a little bit. It's not just the food, it's the presentation. Okay, so we found a little bowl of spicy poke. So I, I, I did run the test because you guys kind of had that. <laughs> you know, I looked around, it that, wasn't. The, the, the look of where did that come from? I know. So we put our tofu. It wasn't right spicy uh, poke when we first went in. <laughs> so 
Do you want to just take this, John? Uh -huh. and, and run it under some water just to rinse it a little okay. bit. Cold water. Hey, Uncle Sam, what's the purpose of running it under the water, by the way? Well, just rinse out the water that it was That was in. in. Yeah. All right. So you want to tilt your pan that way because you don't want to get the oil burning you. Okay, get, get all that in there. Okay, so real quick, okay? Just a little bit, not too much. Did you know your yeah. stove could do that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you fire off? Fire off. Okay, so now we're ready to go with our tofu. Tofu right here. So kids, kids, do not try this at home, okay? Right in your hand. Yeah, That's don't do awesome. That. Down like that. Okay. Well, it could be a little bigger cut. Okay, so it's all cute. So when you need your hashi, you're all ready. Okay. Wasn't quite like how you <laughs> cut it earlier, huh? You kind of just put it all over the top of the tofu. So you take your poke, your fried poke, real quick. Okay, so we're just gonna go pile it on just like that. So this kind of makes a nice uh, poofu kind of dish, right? Put some of that nice fish oil. And then you take uh, your sriracha, you kind of want to do this. Just. Oh, man. And then of course, Hawaii's finest, I'll always show you. Just a little bit. Right now, grab the beer. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a savory bread pudding. It smells really good. Looks like a great meal. And yeah. you're just gonna go ahead and pat it down like that. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, I just had it cook you know. Time to grind. Let's go. So there's always one member of the family that just comes to eat. Yes. <laughs> Who's that? We introduce your sister, Ola. Ola, thank you for coming. Thank you. Ola. <laughs> Hey, so let's recap what we made yeah, well, so that Ola can eat. Yeah, well, think, um, yeah, we did a savory bread pudding. You know, we used all the Domino's pizza leftovers. Second and then, and then we did the quesadilla, you know, took the oyster sauce, Caesar. sriracha, and Caesar, you know, just kind of put a little love and oyster sauce a little bit. And finally? And finally, of course, there was a little container of poke. Which they weren't sure exactly what kind it was, but it yeah. looked really good and it smelled good. It was a spicy poke. And they had a little block of tofu. Cut it all up and we just um, put the fried poke right on top with some onions and some cucumber and on the tofu. The sauce, right? But speaking of Domino's, they're one of our many sponsors that are going to help refill your fridge. Refill the fridge with a large produce basket from Diotani Produce. Swag from our friends at IBEW Local 1260 and Cancer Center of Hawaii. A $30 gift card from Domino's. Copper insulated hot and cold bottles from H2Go Hawaii. Modelo Especial provided by Paradise Beverage. Redondo's provides winter hot dogs, sausage, and loco moco patties from WikiWiki Wiki Chef. A Kailua Foods cookbook created and provided by Castle Medical Center. And Sam Choi's Hawaiian Kitchen Collection, also available at ChefSamChoi.com. You know you always wanted to cook? You know, my mom and dad always kind of entertained, and we lived in Laia, right on the beach, you know. All the kids, when they're like about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, would all show up at our house, you know. <laughs> kind of like Ola. Just kind of showed up. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. At lunchtime. And, uh, you know, and then, of course, uh, you know, my mom and dad cooked. So we'll always be helping in the kitchen, either cleaning vegetables or just staying out of the way. My dad used to get us go catch uh, uh, box crabs or the white sand crabs on the beach. Come on, my dad, you know, show you garlic and little, um, what you call, sugar. So you can eat sand crab? Yeah, the white one. Well, you know, yeah. it's funny because... We used to do it as a dare, you know, I don't eat them, I don't eat them. Kind of, but no, but we ate a lot of them when we were growing up. But then as we grew up older, we realized that those things were scavengers. They ate everything, <laughs> everything on the beach. You know, so we kind of went like, wow, you know? Thanks for having us. Um, we appreciate you guys uh, inviting us in the home, the crew and everything. So yeah, thank you. Uh, it's been nice. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. And I learned a little bit too. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, when Sam Choi is in the kitchen, you, you can, can do, do the, the cooking. cooking. I'll, I'll wait for you. 
Oh, I'm pressure, 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 pressure. Hey, What's up now? Yeah. I don't do this at home by myself and yet Sam's right next to me. So if you guys had some herbs, you know, like maybe some basil yeah. or something, really? Yeah. Fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh. Yeah. 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 But I'm okay. <laughs> so we've got fingers, bread, pasta, <laughs> spam. I just saw in the news that uh, the Kawabanga dance was gonna be in Waipao. Yeah. The one on the national television that won the America Got Talent. The, the, the Kawabanga dance? Was yes. like, <laughs> I thought this is a joke. I was like, this yeah. is a joke. <laughs> hey, go, hey, go easy on me. I'm just a cook. Okay? <laughs> so after this show is done, this cutting board, you know, on your wall, just put them on your wall. And, 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 because this here is like dolls your knife. So you oh, okay, so. I thought it was a memory for you cooking your ass. There was a I lesson out of that. I thought she wanted to hang it. Right, so, yeah. Because it's, it's so pretty. Cooked in here, you know? And it's pretty. Oh. <laughs>